Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Now Hasbro, sometime in October of last year, announced the details of their upcoming Indiana Jones Retro Collection series. Figures that replicated the look of their classic Kenner Indiana Jones figure line uh, with the card bags and even the sculpting. And the first figure that they showed us was actually the Indiana Jones figure alone. But of course, we speculated that there was going to be more. And yesterday, as part of the Hasbro Pulse live stream event for Indiana Jones, the first one ever for 2023 and the first one ever dedicated to Indy, they actually showcased a lot more of these new figures as well. And by the way, about that live stream, you know, uh, I was actually, you know, I wanted to comment on some of the stuff that we were seeing there, but I noticed that they turned off the comments, all right? So, uh, yeah, what's up with that? Okay, anyway, yeah, maybe it's not one of those things that's really open to fan discussion, uh, you know, on their site itself. I guess that's how they do it. But anyway, uh, we're checking out the images here today on the channel, and uh, they've shown us four more figures that are coming up in the line, and I'm really excited to see certain characters here, definitely, because... Like Toad here, come on. He's like a character that I've been craving for to own in three and three quarter inch action figure scale since the Lost Wave of figures. I talked about this in a previous video as well. The Lost Wave of indie figures from 2011, that one just basically came and went. It was never really at retail, in fact, and was actually released as an SDCC exclusive. But even then, you know, the whole thing was just priced to the moon at the time. And I don't think a lot of people actually managed to get their hands on it. So it's fantastic to see that some of these characters are coming back, but in this new retro collection scale. I am excited to see Toad here as I do not have any action figure representations of him so far in my Indiana Jones collection. However, this being the retro collection series, noticeably he does come with far less accessories than the uh, Lost Wave figure did. You know, that one came with probably like the most number of accessories out of any of those Hasbro indie figures. This one appears to come with the uh, service revolver and uh, I'm not really sure if he's got anything else hidden in there under his jacket. But that seems to be about it. Still. Fantastic that we're getting him as part of this first wave of retro collection figures. Next up, we also get another standout, which is the German mechanic. Now, this being a Raiders themed retro collection, obviously, you know, the key figures are going to be there. The German mechanic also from the Lost Wave, also a figure that I do not have in my collection. Uh, however, you know, you do get to see now, you know, very clearly the limitations in articulation for the retro collection series. Obviously, these are probably like about, what, five points of articulation. And also the somewhat caricature-like uh, style that went into the sculpting. Okay, these are obviously very uh, indicative of the classical style of sculpting these figures that how Kenner used to do them back in the day. They're mimicking that, you know, just like how they did with the Star Wars figures as well for their retro collection series. So that's probably like one of the drawbacks for me. But still, that being said, this does look like a pretty solid representation of the German mechanic. And really, he only came with like the monkey wrench accessory, I think even in the classic figure as well. Although, if you remember, the Hasbro Lost Wave figure did come with a removable green cap accessory. So that one is still probably the gold standard when it comes to the German mechanic. Now, there's two more figures that round out this first assortment, and it's Belloc in his ceremonial arc opening outfit. Now, this is the version of the character that I think a lot of fans would most closely associate with Belloc because of the scene at the ending when all hell breaks loose. It's also the version that Hasbro and Kenner have always incorporated when they're doing up Belloc as an action figure. If you notice as well, the outfit here appears to be made out of cloth. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. A great premium touch there. Now, I think there are some hardcore fans out there that probably wouldn't mind to see Belloc as he was depicted in some other parts of the movie. Okay, when he's in the jacket and pants, the tie, the hat, and also the machine pistol. Okay, that's a pretty interesting visual look for him as well. Uh, but not obviously as commercially exciting as this particular cult figurehead look here. So, you know, I mean, it's great to see Belloc here represented as well as part of the first wave. And lastly, of course, we knew that there was going to be a Marion Ravenwood figure in this assortment. And here she is, guys, in her long flowing white dress. The dress appears to be made out of cloth, especially at the bottom there. A nice premium touch again, just like with Belloc. Marion comes with the monkey, right? <laughs> Now, Marion and the monkey go together like Indy and the whip, okay? You can't expect, you know, these guys not to be packed together. However, I will have to say that the retro collection style of sculpting on Marion's face here really doesn't do the figure much justice. But uh, for the sake of authenticity, I guess this is how they did it back in the day and they just want to maintain that representation. In that sense, I suppose, well, there is a sense of legitimacy to the whole package. Uh, Marion is definitely going to be a pack warmer, okay, for sure. I don't know if these figures are ever actually going to make it down here to Malaysia at retail. They're supposed to be intended for retail, I guess. 
uh, but I would say that probably the hobby stores uh, would take in pre-orders and uh, would bring the figures in based on the number of orders they actually get. And the pre-orders are going to be in a set for damn sure. I don't think that they're going to order stuff like indie alone. I'm not sure what the ordering process from Hasbro is going to be like, but I don't think that stores are going to have the option to just be able to bring in figures as they like. So yeah, you know, if fans want to get any of these, they're probably going to have to pony up for the entire set, which I don't think is going to be a problem for committed fans of the franchise because if you take a look at this whole set as it is, it really is quite beautiful, right? And uh, I think that, you know, once you've laid them all out in a set, like, you know, just have them all on display on a wall or something like that, it's just going to look freaking amazing, okay? And I don't even feel like wanting to open up any of these, although, you know, the German mechanic and Toad definitely deserve a place in my open collection of loose indie figures. Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. But yeah, this is a pretty amazing looking set. I am, of course, a supporter of anything to do with Indiana Jones merchandise and action figures. I do hope that this line stands a chance to survive at retail. However, I have to say that judging from the performance of the 2008 line, uh, I don't really see a change in the market environment since then. Unless, you know, well, that line was perhaps maybe ahead of its time and maybe there's been like an entire legion of new indie fans since then, okay, who want to actually own the action figures. So we'll just have to see what happens, especially when the new movie hits, okay, you know, if there's any real excitement. I know there's been a lot of talk about the new movie, by the way. Um, but uh, I also at the same time, I'm not really sure who's actually going to be the main audience for that, okay, other than us 40-somethings, you know. So, we'll just see, you know, how everything works out. In the meantime, I'm looking forward to more news on the Retro Collection series from Hasbro and also looking forward to the possibility of there being a Retro Collection Temple of Doom Wave, okay? That's the one that I really want to get into, right? That's going to look freaking amazing. Let me know your thoughts on this video and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you and take care out there.